The UN has expressed concerns about the ongoing, heavy fighting between the military and armed resistance groups in Myanmar's northern region, which displaced more than 30,000 people. The Myanmar military is facing its biggest challenge from an alliance of armed ethnic groups since its February 2021 coup when it wrested power from the elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi. The resistance groups on Monday seized the district capital of Kolin in the Sogang region following a four-day offensive, a first major victory for the alliance in nearly three years of bloody civil war. Sogang has been a stronghold of the armed resistance to the army, which has responded by launching airstrikes, burning down villages and driving hundreds of thousands of people from their homes. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs said in a situation report published last week that the new round of fighting had displaced nearly 37,400 people in Shan State. We are alarmed by the heavy fighting, particularly in Shan State in the northern part of the country, with reports of airstrikes that led to civilian casualties and tens of thousands being newly displaced internally. Said Stefan Dujoric, spokesman for the UN Secretary General. Our humanitarian colleagues tell us that, since October 26, nearly 33,000 men, women, and children have been displaced. He added China has urged Myanmar to maintain stability along the border and earnestly secure the safety of the lives and property of Chinese border residents after fighting between the forces rocked the region. Beijing on Tuesday confirmed there had been Chinese casualties after ethnic armed groups seized outposts in Myanmar's north along the border. However, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin did not say whether the Chinese were killed or wounded, or where the incident had taken place. Clashes between the Three Brotherhood Alliance, which is made of the Arakan Army, the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army and the Tong National Liberation Army and the junta escalated in late October. Intense fighting was reported from the Shan State townships of Kanlong, Seni, Kyokmi, Katkai, Lashio, Loking, Mius, Namkan, Chinshui and Nongkyo, as well as some areas in northern Kachin State and the northern part of the Sogang region. The Kachin Independence Army, one of the stronger ethnic armed groups, is an ally of the Brotherhood and holding the fire in the Kachin state near the China border. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres reaffirms that civilians should be protected. Mr. Dujoric said, also calling for unimpeded access to humanitarian aid. Military leader Min Aung Ling last week vowed to launch counterattacks against the armed rebel forces. The Global New Light of Myanmar reported. So Min Tan, a spokesperson for the ruling military council, earlier acknowledged that the military had ceded control of the towns of Chinshui, Pang Seng and Pong Seng on the border with China. Chinshui is a major point for cross-border trade. At this time, there are places that the government, administrative and security organizations have had to relinquish. So Min Tan told state broadcaster MRTV. The Resistance Alliance has seized over 90 military targets, a spokesperson for the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army said. We have fully prepared to resist the counterattacks of the military. Lu Kaya Wai added. The fighting has resulted in more than 160 Thai nationals, including survivors of human trafficking, being moved to shelter by Myanmar junta troops. But more than a dozen remained trapped in a building. Said Thailand's deputy police chief, who flew to Myanmar on Monday to coordinate the repatriation efforts. The 162 are safe and with the Myanmar army in Lokai City. For the other 60 Thais, we are coordinating with the Myanmar army and they are going to help, Shurukate Hakpan told Reuters.